Hey, what's up, everybody? Got my sound hack Morphogene by Make Noise today. Uh, super cool module. And I wanted to go over a, a little trick that I figured out already with this thing. Um, first thing to know is that if you plug in a cable to your play input and just kind of have it loose, uh, what you're doing is you're breaking the normalization between uh, the t basically telling the Morphogene not to loop your splice anymore. So if you unplug it, it's just going to keep playing your splice over and over again. So you're just going to get... Bat, 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 Right. So let's hear the sample. This is, believe it or not, My Little Pony, I guess. And this is what it sounds like. Bats will give you a fright. Eating apples both day and night. They rest for a minute, maybe three. Then they're eating every apple in your apple tree. Okay, so that's the sample. Um, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to make some rhythmic splices. I, I'm sorry. What I wanted to do is I wanted to make some coherent rhythms triggering this splice uh, over and over and over again um, in different places. And I figured out a really cool trick. So this is a little rhythm that I made, or a little beat I made with some other modules. And I'm going to play it so you can get a little point of reference. This is what it sounds like. All right. So now what I figured out what I figured out is if you take a gate signal and you patch it into the uh, clock input right here, what's going to happen is it's going to re-trigger the playing of the gene um, if you have a malted cable from the clock input plugged also into the play input. So I've got a gate signal going into the clock input as well as the play input. So this is the beat. So I'm going to bring in the morphogene. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. All right, so it gets even cooler than that. Um, I was looking through the manual, and a section says the chronological inspection of the sound DNA. Uh, and it says with the morph the morph knob set less than clockwise, uh, and the gene size set to be smaller than the whole splice, you may use the clock input to play through the gene in chronological order. So uh, what gene size does is it, is it basically takes the splice and it, uh, reduces the splice into smaller and smaller pieces. So what's cool is that, yeah, if you turn this knob up a little bit higher, let's just go ahead and listen to what it does. Right. Um, because it's smaller than the whole splice, what's going to happen now is every time I send this a gate signal, it's going to move through the splice uh, based on the gene size. So let's listen to what that result sounds like. Yeah, so a cool little trick. Uh, once again, you just use a gate sequence um, and you send the gate to the clock input as well as the playhead at the same time and you can get these cool little uh, these cool little musical and in sync, in time cuts of your splice.
Rats, hats, room hats, room hats.